What was the actual question? Hang I, on. Lost, I had a train Hang on, yes, and I yes, yes. It. Hang on. I'm Brigitte Breitenbach with B and Co, and I'm here with John Goss from Noya House. John, you were previously with Quintessentially, and you were responsible for the growth of that brand yep. in North America. And that brand is largely all about lifestyle management and concierge services. What did that whole experience teach you? The experience taught me that there are a, a set of consumers in the world who will pay a premium to access experiences. Um, and that to deliver a premium service to those clients, you need to have great staff, great access, great network uh, on a global basis. Um, and the nature of that service has to be so elevated uh, and so on point that to justify a $20,000 a year product, you have to be very consistent in your delivery of your service and, and the access you have. How do you distinguish and differentiate Noya House from the rest of the up-and-coming brands in the space? We don't really consider ourselves a co-working space. Um, a, a co-working space really in the is, is a desk, it's an office, it's a, it's a physical product that people have, an, have a need for. Um, at Neuhaus, House, we're much more thoughtful uh, and designed for a very specific consumer uh, and a very elevated, multifaceted experience. So you're really not just buying a desk at Neuhaus. House. Um, I was at an event with Jeff Bridges last night. I was at dinner with Salman Rushdie two weeks ago with our members. So um, we are designing experiences that are holistic, elevated, multifaceted, um, and they appeal to a certain type of creative customer, creative entrepreneur, and being a, a, around a like-minded collective of other creative, successful entrepreneurs makes you feel like you're part of something, um, makes you feel part of a community. Noya House is definitely in growth mode. How do you manage and control that growth? Growth, to my earlier point, um, has to be very thoughtful. Um, we're stewards of capital um, and our customers have a certain expectation and we've made a certain promise to those customers. Um, so when we identified the Bradbury building um, as the next location for our growth, we thought about the architectural merit of the building. We thought about the iconic things creatively that have happened in that building. Um, we think about the themes of how to connect human beings in a space where their work and their ideas can really be cultivated and, and, and fostered. Uh, we're opening three more additional Neu houses over the next year, which we'll be announcing very soon. And again, we've been very methodical about the buildings, the locations, and where that creative consumer, and where that customer is, is based and what their needs are. In our business and branding, my team always asks the question of our clients, what, what um, what do your customers value? So what do Noya House members value? They really value great design. They value great architectural buildings and the history of those buildings. They value great content, great programming, great experiences, and they value hospitality. And I think primarily they value the people they work around. Um, all of our customers can afford and have the ability to work in their own private office, from home, from a co-working space, um, or from any, any place they desire. They, they can afford to choose where they work, but they choose to work in a place where there's other like-minded creative entrepreneurs and innovators in the creative fields. Um, and there's a sense of all doing something with a collective intent. Um, and I think they value that. So this is your first time attending Indie Congress. How has this uh, experience affected you, inspired you? It's very inspiring. Um, and it's great to be here because there's a lot of uh, members of my team and people I work for and with who come from the hospitality industry. Um, I don't come from a hotel background per se, mm -hmm. um, but we talk every day about some of the themes and operational disciplines that come from the hospitality hotel world. We, we serve food every day. Mm -hmm. We host major events in the house. We're catering to a, a customer that comes regularly back to Neuhaus. Um, so those themes of boutique hotel, hospitality, service, cut, you know, excellence in the way we look after our, 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 our customers is, a, is very relevant to what we do. So to be around those, the, the, you know, the audience here is, is 
gives you another perspective um, and it makes you think about some of the spaces we've been in over the last two days. So I'm a big fan of the Hoxton Hotel from London. I'm a big fan of the Ace Hotel. Um, and I think they're very comparable brands to Neuhaus in the holistic experience they offer their clients and the different revenue streams they're, they're focused on. So very similar to a hotel where a boutique hotel with desks rather than rooms. Um, we also host major events and, uh, and focus on food and beverage and great food and beverage experiences and we're about to relaunch our restaurant. So um, it's inspiring to be around those people and hear their points of view. And it's a very diverse group of people. I had a perception of a hotel congress as being a certain type of conference. Um, having been at dinner the other night and been on a panel with Jim and having met yourself, Bridget, it's clearly a very eclectic, diverse group of people and a very broad range of disciplines and, and industries. So I, it's been an eye-opener. You are, mate? Yeah. I should have awesome. done it in a Cockney accent, That's right? That's a wrap.